you know what I noticed is that, and I did this, a lot of narcissists or narcissistic people always walk away, always push you away, always discard you. It's because they are living a purposeless life. I lived a purposeless life for a very long time. Yeah, I served 32 years in the Navy. Yes, I was recruited a year. Yes, I was sailor the year six times. Yes, I got promoted at the highest level, to the highest level. But I was a purposeless man. I was very unhappy. So when they push you away, for many reasons, first of all, they know that they're going to eventually leave you. So they have to push you away to hurt you before you walk away and hurt them knowing that they're not good enough for you. So they're going to push you away first. They're going to make you feel inadequate. They're going to make you feel unhappy. They're going to make you feel unimportant. They're going to make you feel less than yourself. Even though you are an amazing person, they can't make you feel amazing. I made a woman feel amazing for about the weekend, a couple of weeks, a couple of months. But after that, my attraction to her went down. You know why? They push you away. You know why they discard you? You know why they, they reject you? Why did they, that attraction to you goes down? because they don't like themselves. I did not like myself. I did not like Leon, right? I wanted to reject myself. I wanted to discard myself. I could do it to me, but I couldn't stand it if anybody else did it to me. So therefore they have to, narcissists have to do it to you before you do it to them. Because when you do it to a narcissist, when you discard them, when you reject them, when you push them away, they implode internally, emotionally. And we don't know how to handle or regulate our emotions. I had to learn that in therapy. There's another video I'm going to tell you about. It's called Mood Disorder. I have Mood Disorder too. Lee, may, Lee Hammock may have it. Ben Raw, Raw Motivation may have it too. But narcissists have a hard time regulating their emotions because what we do with this false sense of false sense of reality and false sense of security, they are very insecure. I was very insecure. We made people think and believe that we're this, we're this person in the beginning. That's where the love bombing comes from. You think and believe I'm this amazing person. You all are amazing. My brother, you're amazing. My sister, you're amazing. When I say my brother, my sister, I'm talking about white people, black people, Asian people, Latin people, indigenous people. You all are amazing, not the narcissistic, narcissistic person. We want you to think we're amazing. We want you to feel amazing, but it's only gonna be temporary. So narcissistic people or narcissists don't have a purpose in life. When they wake up, they have a their, their, their goal and aspirations are all about themselves. Ironically, I found my purpose in life by my ex-girlfriend. Ironically, the people that are hurting, helping me are the same ones that I hurt. My purpose now is to give back to you all, is to expose myself, my NPD, my mood disorder, to help other people feel amazing. And now that I have a purpose, I feel amazing. Narcissistic people don't have a purpose, so they don't feel amazing.